Hi, I'm Dr. Chung Hee Fung, Consultant Ophthalmologist at the International Specialist Eye Centre. I'll be talking about exotropia, or commonly known as diversion squint today. What is exotropia? Exotropia, or diversion squint, refers to eyes that turn outward. It is the opposite of crossed eye or esotropia. Exotropia may occur from time to time, called intermittent exotropia, or may be constant and is found in every age group. Exotropia may be congenital, in other words, present at birth, or acquired, in other words, developed later in life. The acquired forms of exotropia include intermittent exotropia, sensory exotropia, and consecutive exotropia. Newborn babies commonly have difficulty keeping their eyes straight. While this tendency for eyes to wander at times is normal until four months of age, any constant eye misalignment during the newborn period should be evaluated by an ophthalmologist. Congenital or infantile exotropia is an outward turning of the eyes from birth or early infancy. Esotropia or crossing of the eyes is much more common than exotropia in newborns. In fact, constant exotropia is so uncommon in infants that pediatric ophthalmologists generally will investigate the cause to be sure that there is no additional problem present. Many people normally have a tendency for the eyes to drift outward when their eyes are completely relaxed, such as when they are staring into the space while daydreaming. This outward drift, which occurs only in those moments when the eyes are not paying attention to each other, is called exophoria and is controlled effortlessly by refocusing our visual attention. At first, the exotropia may occur rarely. Over time, it may become more frequent, even to the point of becoming constant. However, the length of time it takes for intermittent exotropia to become constant varies from a few months or years to lasting an entire lifetime without ever becoming more than just an occasional nuisance. Strabismus or misalignment of the eyes runs in families. All affected family members will not necessarily share exactly the same type of strabismus, meaning that exotropia may not be the only kind of misalignment possible. In some relatives, the strabismus may be obvious, while others may have a milder form. Many family members will not have strabismus at all. A family history of strabismus is a very good reason to have a child's eye evaluated by a pediatric ophthalmologist. People with intermittent exotropia may experience that outward drift only occasionally, such as when they are very tired, feeling unwell, or after drinking alcohol, despite their best effort to refocus or to control the eye alignment. Children may squint one eye in bright light and may rub one of their eyes. Their vision may become blurry or they may experience double vision when their eyes are misaligned. Some patients say that they can feel that an eye is misaligned even though they do not see anything unusual. Others are unaware that an eye is turning out unless it is mentioned by a friend. Unfortunately, most exotropia does not resolve spontaneously, but occasionally it may be adequate to control the exotropia with just glasses alone. Exotropia in an eye with very poor vision is called sensory exotropia. In this case, the eye with low vision is unable to work together with the other eye, and therefore, the natural tendency for our eyes to drift outward takes over. Sensory exotropia may occur from an early age in a child with poor vision, or may be acquired later in life due to loss of vision. Of course, if the vision problem is treatable, it should be addressed as soon as possible. In cases of permanent visual loss, surgery to straighten the eye is often an option, especially to improve 
the cosmetic nails. Isotropia occurring after strabismus surgery to correct isotropy is referred to as consecutive exotropia. This may occur near the time of the original surgery or may develop many years later. How is exotropia treated? Non-surgical treatment may include glasses or eye exercises. Occasionally, patching therapy may be recommended if there is lazy eye or embryology. Once the eyes have become misaligned more often than the astray, surgery on the eye muscles may be recommended in order to realign the eyes. The timing of surgery is not age dependent as age is not the main determining factor for exotropia surgery. The surgery is appropriate when exotropy is present for the majority of the time at any age. Generally, surgery is indicated when the exotropia is frequently present and is no longer controlled with glasses or exercises. It should be considered if the patient is experiencing significant symptoms like eye strain, double vision, or squinting, or when there is evidence that the patient is losing binocular vision. Sometimes the exotropy is so cosmetically obvious that the child may be teased or bullied in school, and this can be a good reason uh, for the surgery to take place. Typically, the surgery takes about 15 to 20 minutes and can be done as a daycare procedure under local or general anesthesia, and the outcome is excellent. In about 20% of cases, there is a recurrence of exotropia despite the surgery. Should this happen, further surgery for exotropia can be performed with similarly good results. Thank you for listening. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.